हेलो ऑल वेलकम टू माय चैनल वेट लेक्चर टुडे वी विल डिस्कस मल्टीपल चॉइस क्वेश्चंस ऑन वेटनरी पैथोलॉजी क्वेश्चंस नंबर फर्स्ट न्यूट्रिशनल इंसेफेलोमेलेशिया इज अ डिजीज ऑफ ऑप्शंस ए मिंक ऑप्शंस बी बेबी चिक ऑप्शन सी कैल्फ ऑप्शन डी पपीज द राइट आंसर इज ऑप्शन बी दैट इज अ बेबी चिक न्यूट्रिशनल इंसेफेलोमेलेशिया व्हिच इज ऑल्सो नोन एज अ क्रेजी चिक डिजीज is a disease of a baby chick is mainly characterized by nervous signs such as like uh, ataxia disequilibrium falling on back frequent movement with wings strongly stretched legs twisting of head and uh, it is due to the uh, deficiency of uh, vitamin e in diet questions number second canine hysteria or fright disease is uh, caused by option a excessive estrogen production options b nitrogen trichloride deficiency option c cerebral malaria options d none The right answer is options uh, D. That is none. Canine hysteria, which is also known as a fright disease or a running fit, is the epileptic uh, conditions uh, which is seen in dog, uh, which usually uh, fed the toxic elements in a food, uh, in which that uh, affected a uh, dogs may uh, suddenly run or bark senselessly, hide without uh, cause, and undergo spasm or convulsions. Okay. Questions number uh, three. Chastic paralysis is caused by which options A riboflavin deficiency options B pantothenic acid deficiency option C choline deficiency options D none the right answer is options D that is none chastic paralysis which is a fatal uh, paralytic uh, uh, conditions which is mainly seen in a uh, fox and mink that are bred in uh, captivity and fed only that raw fish since raw fish uh, contain the enzyme that is thiaminase which cause that breakdown of thiamine enzymes and uh, lead to uh, cause the deficiency of vitamin b1 and this nervous signs are seen which is characterized as chastic paralysis okay questions number 4 uh, calf fed a rations consisting entirely of milk will show symptoms of option a manganese deficiency option b excess of calcium option c phosphorus deficiency option d magnesium deficiency the right answer is option a that is manganese deficiency calf which fed a ration that consisting entirely of milk only will show that symptoms of uh, manganese deficiency since uh, milk contain very small amount of uh, copper iron manganese and sodium and these are not uh, considered as a major source of uh, uh, these minerals in diet okay questions number 5 in an animal the hydrostatic pressure is uh, 45 mm hg Uh, at the arterial end and 19 mm hg at venous end of capillaries and the colloidal osmotic uh, pressure of a blood protein is 27 mm hg in this animal the edematous uh, fluids will accumulate at the rate of option a 18 mm hg options b 8 mm hg option c 1 mm hg or options d 10 mm hg the right answer is options d that is 10 mm hg the rate at which uh, this edematous fluids accumulates is given by that edematous fluids accumulation is equal to that uh, the net pressure out uh, minus net pressure in since net pressure out uh, is given by that the hydrostatic pressure at arterial end of capillary minus that osmotic pressure of a blood protein and net pressure in is given by that osmotic pressure of a blood protein minus hydrostatic pressures uh, at venous end of artery questions number 6 kaishon disease is caused by option c low atmospheric pressure options b high atmospheric pressure option c narrowing of the blood vessels or options d none the right answer is option a that is a, a low atmospheric pressure kaishon disease is caused by an accumulation of uh, that nitrogen gas bubble in blood vessels uh, which act as an emboli and uh, precipitate tissue infections and cause uh, tissue uh, infections cause this phenomenon is a uh, most uh, commonly seen in individual such as deep sea diver uh, which are removed too rapidly from a high pressure environment and it also see in that high altitude flyer also um, which are uh, rapidly removed from low pressure environment okay and the entire syndrome sir uh, has been uh, called as deep compression sickness okay questions number 7 component of cytoskeleton useful in tumor diagnosis options a tubules options b lipid option c centrioles options d intermediate filament the right answer is options d that is intermediate filament component of cytoskeleton which is used in that tumor diagnosis that is the intermediate filament okay questions number 8 conditions in which there is impairment of phagocytic property of wbc occurs options a downer syndromes 
ऑप्शन बी चेडिया खिगासी सिंड्रोम ऑप्शन सी यूरोसिस और ऑप्शन डी ऑल द राइट आंसर इज ऑप्शन बी दैट इज अडियक हिगासी सिंड्रोम दिस चेडियक हिगासी सिंड्रोम इज अ रियर Autosomal recessive syndrome. Since uh, the the syndrome is associated with that allele, uh, allele which is present in non-sex uh, chromosomes, characterized by impairment of a phagocytic property of WBC. Okay. Uh, questions number nine. Partial or complete loss of melanocyte in the epidermis is known as options A, melanoma. Options B, vertigo. Options C, vitiligo. Options D, all. The right answer is option C. That is vitiligo. Vitiligo is a long term uh, conditions where uh, pale white patches uh, develop on the skin caused due to uh, partial or complete loss of melanocyte in the epidermis commonly happens uh, in that face regions neck regions and hand regions okay questions number uh, 10 tophi is related to which disease options a gastrointestinal mucosa options b articular gout options c goiter options d none the right answer is options b that is articular gout a uh, tophi which is a deposit of a crystalline uric acid and other substance at the surface of a joint or in skin or cartilage is actually related to that articular gout in that articular gout this uh, the uric acid deposition take place in different types of joints okay questions number 11 name the anaphyla toxin options a c2 options b c4 options c c1 options d c3a and c5a the right answer is options d that is c3a and c5a Anaphyla toxins uh, that C three A, C five A, C five A dash arg are generally considered as a pro-inflammatory polypeptide, which is generated after a proteolytic uh, proteolytic cleavage of C three and C five uh, in response to that uh, complement activations, and uh, is main the major functions uh, includes of anaphyla toxins that is a uh, chemotaxis, activations of granulocytes, mast cells, and macrophages. Okay, questions number twelve. Reed Sternberg cells are typical of options A meningioma options B otic body tumor option C ALC options D Hodgkin disease the right answer is options D that is a Hodgkin uh, disease Reed Sternberg cells are the large abnormal uh, lymphocyte cells uh, that may contain more than one nucleus it's mainly found in people uh, with a hodgkin lymphoma which is a which is a type of a cancer which affect mainly lymphatic systems in which uh, wbc called lymphocytes grow out of control causing swollen lymph node and uh, growth throughout body okay questions number 13 the followings are used in grading a tumor options a mitotic index options b differentiation option c nodal spread options d all the right answer is options d all that mitotic index uh cell differentiation uh, nodal spreads extra all are used in case of tumor grading tumor uh, grade is determined by the degree of that cellular differentiations uh, based on histological appearance of individual tumors when we see on its microscope uh, there are four types of uh, tumors uh, we can grade there is a first grade one that is a low grade uh, tumor which consists of well differentiated cells means that cells uh, are uh, more resembles to that normal cells and grade second tumor which is known as intermediate grade consists of moderately differentiated cells there is a little varies from that normal cells uh, grade third uh, that is a high grade uh, consists of poorly differentiated cells while grade four uh, that is consists of ana uh, plastic where this anaplasia of the cells take place there is a you know, cells resemble more embryonic type cells as compared to that uh, normal cells okay and here the stages of tumor uh, which is done by that tmn staging uh, where t stand for tumor size and for nodal involvement and as m for metastasis okay there is a stage 0 where uh, carcinoma occurs uh, in situ which is early form and stage 1 that's carcinoma get localized in that area stage second that early uh, locally advance and then third stage is that late locally advance stage and that is stage 4 is that metastatic stage where that uh, the tumor is spread throughout the body okay questions number uh, 14 anti peristalsis in an avian oviduct will form options a layered egg options b shellless egg options c yolkless egg options d double yolk egg the right answer is options a that is a layered egg in bird the anti peristalsis movement uh, pushes the one smaller egg within a larger egg set a part of that albumin and yolk that's called layered egg and yolkless egg also called fart eggs cock eggs 
fiery eggs, dwarf egg, and witch egg. When a pullet has just started a laying egg, its reproductive system uh, lay a very tiny yolkless egg, which is uh, common and usually pose no harm. Such type of egg is known as yolkless egg. While a shellless egg uh, is seen, uh, that's a thin shells egg or soft shells egg is seen in older bird, uh, high producing birds, and which is which is deficient in calcium uh, level. Okay. Questions number fifteen. Jaundice and hemoglobinuria may develop following excess feeding of options A cobalt, options B phosphorus, option C magnesium, options D copper. The right answer is option D that is copper. Jaundice and uh, hemoglobinuria may develop due to excess feeding of a copper. Uh, livestock generally uh, tolerate excessive uh, phosphorus intake as the uh, excretion of the phosphorus take place through that uh, urine. But excess phosphorus in diet uh, predispose that animal uh, to that uh, urinary calculi formations. Diet which is rich in magnesium also predispose to the phosphatic calculi because magnesium phosphates are integral to growth of calculi. Dietary excess of a phosphorus in case of a boiler leads to cause a tibial dyschondroplasia. In horse uh, feeding excess uh, phosphorus and low calcium level cause secondary hyper uh, parathyroidism condition. Okay. Questions number sixteen. Contagious ichthyma produce. Option A. Vesicular stomatitis. Option B. Papular stomatitis. Option C. Ulcerative stomatitis. Or option D. Catarrhal stomatitis. The right answer is option B. That is a papular stomatitis. A contagious ichthyma, which is also known as ORF, is an infectious uh, dermatitis of sheep and goat that affect primarily uh, the lips uh, area of that young sheep and goats. Mainly caused by a parapox virus, is characterized by lesions which is developed at the mucocutaneous junction of that lips and also around erupting incisor teeth, and also may extend uh, to that mucosa of buccal cavity too. Questions number uh, seventeen: Epidermoid carcinoma is a squamous cell carcinoma involving options A: epidermoid cyst, options B: hair follicle, option C: mucous membrane of tongue, vagina extra, or options D: Swedes gland. The right answer is option C. That is a mucous membranes of tongue, vagina extra. Epidermoid uh, carcinoma is a squamous cell carcinoma, which is mainly involving like mucous membranes of tongue, vagina extra. Okay. Questions number eighteen. In the dog, BSP clearance is used to assess the functions of options A, pancreas; options B, thyroid; option C, liver; options D, kidney. The right answer is option C, which is a liver. In the dog BSP, that is bromosulfathalene, clearance is used to assess the function of liver. Actually, bromosulfathalene is a dye uh, which is used to assess uh, the excretory functions of liver. It is a non-toxic uh, compound and almost exclusively excreted by the liver through bile. Uh, that uh, in this case, that BSP is administered uh, intravenously and its serum concentration is measured at the time of 45 minutes and also that two hour of uh, administrations. And the rate of removal of BSP uh, from uh, uh, is a sensitive indicator of hepatobiliary function. Okay, questions number nineteen. Aerosols of infective droplet uh, generated by cattle suffering from FMD may spread virus over a distance of option A two to three feet, option B fifty kilometer, option C eight to ten meter, option D to fifty kilometer. The right answer is option D. That is a two fifty kilometer. Aerosols uh, of uh, that uh, infective droplet generated by cattle uh, that suffering from FMD may spread virus over a distance of 250 km. Since FMD is the foot and mouth disease, is a highly contagious viral disease of a cloven-footed animal, mainly characterized by there is a formation of a vesicles on that feet regions, snout regions, and a mouth regions, mainly caused by aptovirus of the family picoRNA viridae, which is a single stranded RNA virus. Questions number 20. Staining used to differentiate tumor cells of uh, ALC, which is avian leukosis complex, and AMD, which is avian Marx disease, is options A: Fontana stain, options B: Sudan black stain, option C: Methyl green pyronin stain, option D: Right stain. The right answer is option C, which is a methyl green pyronin stain. Methyl green pyronin stain is a classical histological staining technique uh, using two basic uh, cationic dye. And it is used for the demonstrations and differentiations of DNA and RNA. Since that ALC is mainly caused by retrovirus, which is signifying uh, RNA virus, and that uh, AMD is mainly caused by herpes virus, which is DNA virus. Okay, uh, Fontana Masson stain is used uh, to demonstrate that argentaffin substance, 
example of arsen taffin substance is melanin which is found in case of a carcinoid tumors in the digestive tracts or tracts or also in lungs it rely upon that this melanin granules uh, uh reduces that ammonical silver nitrate thus giving blackish staining uh, to form that silver okay while well, a right stain is a hematological stain classically a mixture of eosin and methylene blue dye that facilitate the differentiation of different types of blood cells since with the different types of blood cells like erythrocytes wbc leukocyte eosinophil neutrophil stick different different uh, uh, that uh, color stains uh, with right stains okay questions number 21 a site not typical of photosensitization lesions in sheep is options a pinna options b perineum option c muzzle option c option d coronary band the right answer is options b which is a perineum okay the sites where uh, photosensitization lesions are not seen in case of sheep uh, that is a perineum while the site where that photosensitization lesions are actually seen that is pinna lesions and that muzzles and that coronary band and the lesions which is associated with photosensitization include erythema which is redness sludging and blister formations okay and actually there is a photo dynamic substance uh, that is known as phylo erythrins which is accumulate in the body if there is a no biliary tract if there is a biliary tract obstructions and this photodynamic substance in the presence of uh, uh, like uh, that uh, sunlight get activate and cause photosensitization reaction uh, in produce erythema sludging blisters formations extra okay questions number 22 infectious coryza influences egg productions in farm sowing option c slow and permanent drop in egg productions options b sudden and permanent drop in egg productions option c slow drop in egg productions restored after 3 to 4 month or options d sudden drops in egg productions which is restored after 2 to 3 week the right answer is options d which is a sudden drops in egg productions which is restored after 2 to 3 week infectious coryza in uh, influences egg productions in farm sowing sudden drop in egg productions which is restored after 2 to 3 week actually infectious coryza is an acquired uh, respiratory disease of a chicken uh, mainly caused by bacteria avi bacterium uh, paragallinarum which is a gram negative non motile bacteria and characterized by decreased activity nasal discharge sneezing and facial swelling uh, facial swelling extra questions number 23 keratinization within cell of the prickle layer known as options a para keratosis options b diskeratosis option c hyperkeratosis option d all the right answer is option b which is diskeratosis keratinization within that cells of prickles layer that is the stratum spinosum layers of epidermis is known as diskeratosis let's see some layer of skin that is skin mainly consists of three types of layer which is epidermis and then dermis and then hypodermis epidermis also consists of five layers that is stratum basale stratum spinosum stratum granulosum stratum lucidum and stratum corneum while stratum basale is that uh, deepest layer while stratum corneum is a superficial layers okay uh, and stratum basale is uh, also known as stratum germinatum which mainly uh, consist of uh, keratin keratinocytes which produce keratins melanocytes which produce uh, melanin and also that uh, new skin cells also develops in this layer while well, stratum spinosum this layer mainly contain keratinous keratinocytes keratinocytes which held together by sticky protein that is known as uh, desmosomes in stratum granulosum also also this uh, layers contain keratinocytes which this uh, keratinocytes uh, uh, this layers keratinocytes have granules within them and which is visible under microscope stratum lucidum uh, this is a thin transparent layer of keratinocytes while stratum corneum which is superficial layer in this layer that this keratinocytes become corneocytes strong and dead keratinocytes okay and below that epidermis there is a dermis which mainly consists two layer papillary dermis layer and reticular layer papillary uh, layer is that superficial dermis layer which mainly consists of that nerve ending uh, with the sense of touch pain heat cold pressure and also contain a dermal papillae too while a reticular layer is that a deepest layer uh, and it mainly contain fat cells uh, lymph vessels blood sweat gland hair follicles extra and below that dermis there is a hypodermis which mainly consist of fat cells okay let's see different lesions which is associated with skin that's macule is actually that a uh, flat uh, with a different color as compared to that surrounding skin that's known as a, a macule okay patches is like a macules along with wrinkle that is known as patches papules is like a elevated skin 
uh, lesions, uh, which is less than uh, 5 mm in diameter. Plague is that elevated skin, uh, which is greater than uh, 5 mm, but no uh, substantial uh, depth. Nodule is uh, also greater than 5 mm with depth. Okay, cyst is that nodules uh, along with there is an expressible material and vesicle is like blisters which uh, consist of uh, that uh, clear fluid like fluids uh, but less than 5 mm. Okay, bulli is that blister which is greater than uh, 5 mm. Pustules when there is a vesicles containing a purulent fluid that is known as pustules. Okay, now there is a lichenification. Lichenification is also a term as like uh, where there is a EP, EP dermis uh, thickening take place that is known as lichen lichenifications. In durations, where is a dermal thickening uh, take place that is known as in, uh, in durations. Uh, erythema, uh, that is a vasodilation of that uh, dermal blood vessels. While purpura, there is a blood uh, vessels get rupture and that blood extra vases take place. Okay. Questions number 24. Fusion reaction is a cytochemical test for option A, mRNA, options B, tRNA, option C, D, uh, DNA, options D, all. The right answer is option uh, C, that is a DNA. Fusion reaction is a cytochemical test uh, that, which is uh, taken for DNA. DNA staining by fusion stain. Since staining, uh, this staining technique is actually discovered by Robert Fusion, uh, used in histology for identification of a chromosomal material or DNA in cell specimen. Uh, in this staining technique, uh, it is mainly basically depend upon that acid hydrolysis. Uh, initially, this acid uh, hydrolysis uh, is performed 8 to 12 minutes, results in cleavage of that uh, this nitrogen basis and form aldehyde group. And when this aldehyde uh, groups uh, uh, are react with that is chief reagents and leads to forming that red violet product, which is only seen in case of uh, that DNA because that acid hydrolysis does not take place in case of that RNA. Uh, okay. Questions number uh, 25. A pathologic process in lungs. Accounting for conversion of organized pneumonic area to fibrous tissue. Options A, that is carnifications. Options B, uh, resolutions. Option C, uh, fetalizations. Options D, atelectasis. The right answer is option A, which is a carnification. A pathologic uh, process in the lungs accounting for the conversion of uh, organized pneumonic area to that fibrous tissue, that is known as carnifications. A stage of uh, pneumonia uh, showing contraction of that alveolar exudates. Uh, fibrinolysis and appearance of macrophages that is known as uh, resolutions. Uh, when there is a fertilization is an alternation in that uh, uh, alveolar septal wall accounting for proliferations of the septal walls to form large mononuclear cells and short fibroblast imparting as like of embryonal appearance uh, to the pulmonary parenchyma. So this is known as fertilization process. Atelectasis is a when there is a lung lobes appear smaller as in, in volume smaller in volumes has wrinkle uh, outer surface and it is a cut piece uh, sink that is known as uh, atelectasis. Stages of congestion, a stage of pneumonia where lungs appears uh, voluminous and dark red and it cut surface oozes uh, reddish uh, fluids on pressure that is known as stage of congestion. And a stage of pneumonia where red blood uh, cells replaces that hepatocytes that is known as uh, red hepatization. And a stage of pneumonia where white blood cells replace that uh, hepatocyte that is known as uh, gray hepatization. Okay. Uh, this much for uh, today. Okay. Thank you.